a lot of times in Broadway shows or even just shows in general, you know, there are roles for black actors that are very, very limited. It's called the Magical Negro, a stereotypical role where the Magical Negro basically aids the central white character with no backstory. You sing songs, you hit high notes, you do magic tricks, you help the central white character, and that's it. One of my favorite shows I've done to date is the show uh, Hairspray, and that was my, also my Broadway debut, so I pretty much left the festival and went right to Hairspray um, after the Jackie Wilson story ran at the Apollo. And somebody on the team, we were talking about seaweed, and uh, somebody on the team made a comment about seaweed um, like being a little slow and it was just like past. And it was at least probably a little, you know, a little bit slow and blah, 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 blah. And that, that ate away at me. So um, I waited until they came back to the show. And um, when they came back, I said, hey, can I talk to you a second? It was like right in the middle of the show. Can I talk to you an intermission? You know, whatever, right? And they were like, oh, yeah, 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 sure, sure. And so they came into my dressing room and they had never been into my dressing room. So my dressing room threw them off a little bit. So, because Hairspray is a comedy that I love, but it's a comedy about segregation. And so you have Tracy Turnblad essentially like leading the civil rights movement, right? So, that's, you know, we know that didn't happen, but I love that show so much. Anyway, so they came into my room and they were taken back because to balance the comedy of Hairspray, I had images of the civil rights movement all surrounded throughout my dressing room. So I had a big poster of Malcolm X, then I had like what the riots looked like, I had like even, even the hangings, just so that it wasn't fluff to me. Like we were talking about very serious things in Hairspray. So, and that's where the comedy is from, the seriousness of what's actually going on because it's so ridiculous, but they're serious and so that's what makes it funny. And so, uh, but also with like pictures of the Nicholas Brothers and just people that like paved the way. And then a random poster of Transformers because I'm a nerd. But anyway, so they came into my room, just like, whoa, my God, like, whoa. And I was like, hey, so yeah, so I want to talk to you, you know, because you made a comment about, you know, seaweed possibly being a little bit slow. And I have some questions about that. And I said, actually, I think seaweed is not slow because, and I had the script highlighted, I had the pages and I showed them the argument that supports seaweed is actually very smart. And then I also quoted a part of the film that's not in the musical. And um, Ricky Lake, when she plays Tracy Turnblad, when they send her to detention, when she's about to meet seaweed, she says, oh, I'm going to detention. That's where you put the, the, uh, the slow kids or something like that. And then she says, and the black kids that you try to hold back. So I told him, I quoted that to to that person and then uh and then i said so seaweed is actually in detention because he's black and they're trying to hold him back he's in detention because of racism not because he's slow he's not slow at all and he was like oh yeah absolutely absolutely i said okay all right well i just wanted to clear that up that was eating away at me thank you for you know for being open to hear what i have to say about this you know and we went on and you know and, and that was that so yeah